Hundreds of bison have just been seen leaving Yellowstone National Park. Although animals often move around the national park, people who often visit Yellowstone have said that it seems a bit early for them to be doing this, with some saying that recent activity around the park is causing them to move earlier than normal. One user posted a comment on the Yellowstone National Park social media page, and said that they could not find on record the last time that bison left the park so early, and asked whether anything is currently going on there that would cause them to do this. There's always going to be questions around something like Yellowstone National Park, especially because of what lies beneath it. Another user commented the following, Doesn't the winter migration seem a little early? With all of the eruptions that's been happening around the globe this year, I'd be getting far away from Yellowstone. There's been a lot of activity around that area this year, a lot of which hasn't been reported on by the United States Geological Survey. Lots of small but noticeable earthquakes have been felt by locals. End quote. The United States Geological Survey said though that this activity is normal. They released the following statement on their website. During the winter season, bison head to lower ground in the north area of Yellowstone. The snow and temperatures are milder there, and it's easier to feed on grass under the snow. This can mean that hundreds of bison migrate to Lamar Valley, Mammoth Hot Springs and Old Faithful, and sometimes cross Yellowstone's border into private ranches in Montana. To avoid contact with livestock, states work with Yellowstone to keep the herds near the border, and direct livestock to other grazing grounds. This also helps the bison to have a shorter return to Yellowstone in warmer weather. End quote. Researchers at the University of California Berkeley though said that studies reveal that animals within these regions can sense anomalies and changes, saying that they were studying thousands of Yellowstone elk, and noticed that they had left the region for higher ground. The team said that their behaviour changed due to environmental anomalies. Researchers at the university said the following. These animals are migrating in the tens of thousands and are moving out of Yellowstone. We think this comes down to changes in the area. In the future, with the climate changing around Yellowstone, we should expect the timing of these mass movements to be altered, which will affect the other wildlife and people who depend on them, including predators, scavengers and hunters across the ecosystem. End quote. This has made some people worry, as studies have shown that animals can detect things before humans can. Some researchers suggest that they can even pick up on electrical changes in the air, or gas release from the earth, and this is why if an earthquake is about to happen some animals will try and find shelter. Yellowstone officials have said though that these recent movements shouldn't raise alarms. Recent data has shown us that magma is moving around the Yellowstone system, Researchers who have been keeping a close eye on the Yellowstone data have said that over the last few months, mainly back in June and July, there was a lot of movement around the park in regards to magma flow. Ground fractures are opening up, and local residents have reported an increase in earthquakes. One of the most recent discoveries that surprised many people was that of a large bulge found within the park with amateur researchers saying that there's a big pocket that's possibly filling up with magma. Those who often watch the live cams have said they've picked up on the fact that a dome-shaped structure has appeared beneath Yellowstone, and in order to test this they've collected several photographs from a few months back, and compared them to recent photographs, saying that it clearly shows that something big is brewing beneath Yellowstone. One local who lives close to the park said the following, you can definitely feel movement where I am. In fact, over the last few weeks myself along with my neighbours have felt the earthquakes has been hitting Yellowstone. However, recently there's been big jerks all around the park. Some big earthquakes are hitting the region, and I'm a little worried about the big dome that's forming beneath the park. I'm hoping that this is normal, but as of right now it hasn't been discussed by scientists or officials working at Yellowstone. Not sure if we need to be making plans to get out. End quote. 
Not everyone though is concerned about the increased activity at Yellowstone, with them saying that for years swarms of earthquakes have been hitting the region, and that nothing ever happens. Further saying that land masses around Yellowstone increase and decrease in size every year, and this is because of a number of possibilities. Interestingly, it's not just the volcano beneath Yellowstone that's caught people's attention. Of all the national parks that have encountered unusual activity, Yellowstone National Park has caught tremendous media attention in respect to the sounds that have been heard there. The eerie sounds of Yellowstone National Park have been more specifically heard by Yellowstone Lake since the 1970s. Various terms have been used to describe the sounds, but no one is able to settle on a specific description. Some visitors have explained the sounds in many ways, such as a swarm of bees, crashing of metal poles, organ sounds and much more. These sounds have been known more commonly as lake music, since we can't seem to place a finger on what the sounds actually are. Many theories have been thrown around, one of which is the possibility of a mild earthquake, and another being whirlpools of air being the culprits of these sounds. Unfortunately, experts have yet to find an explanation for the sounds. Although they're heard less frequently, visitors still hear this lake music every so often, and struggle to understand where they come from. Another theory surrounds those that have passed away within Yellowstone. With many thermal geysers and hot springs, it's expected that a few fatalities would ensue. Over the years, many people have lost their lives at Yellowstone, but surprisingly, most passings took place at Yellowstone Lake. Since 1894, over 40 people have drowned in the lake, due to capsizing kayaks and canoes. Many have since speculated about the strange sounds and relations to those who have passed away, saying that there could be a connection. Whether these connections hold any ground is something we can't be sure of. Albeit knowing many people lost their lives in the lake, make the sounds coming from the Yellowstone National Park even more eerie. When an individual goes missing, there are several possibilities as to why and how they disappeared. They could have been attacked by animals, got lost and ran out of food and water, or have sustained a fatal injury. While some disappearances have a sound and logical explanation, there are many that fail to make sense. Some people seem to vanish within thin air, leaving investigators perplexed. People are continually working on new theories to provide an explanation for these disappearances. Some people believe that a mysterious creature is living within national parks, and that they play a role in these unusual disappearances. One example of a strange disappearance is that of a young man, who went missing in the late 70s during a ski trip, and was found 15 months later. He woke up in a field 14 miles from his father's house, and 700 miles from where he was last seen. Another unusual aspect related to his disappearance was that he was in different clothing. Unfortunately, his memory loss made it impossible to comprehend what happened. If there's one takeaway from these mysteries, it's not to avoid national parks altogether, but instead to be aware of the possible dangers they present. Although some of these bizarre stories have ended in survival, many lives have been lost and experts are no closer to learning why. With more awareness brought upon these stories, some answers may be found, but for now we continue to struggle with wrapping our heads around each disappearance. So what do you make of these recent announcements and discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.